what excited me about this course was the idea that what we're giving students is the opportunity to learn in a safe space how to manage teams of people, how to deliver results when resources are limited, yeah. and to get that kind of experience that if you're a hands-on researcher, you don't necessarily gain earlier in your career. We hope that'll be a benefit not just for the students, but also for everyone else who works with them. So what we're asking you to do, if you're watching this um, and you have students in your faculty and your area of your research group who might be interested, please really forward this message to them with a pack of information that we've attached to the email. We'd love to talk with them further. We think that the benefit to you could be students who deliver more for your research group. We think the benefit for the students themselves could be employment, employability skills and, uh, and the opportunity to explore a greater purpose in life. Anything yes. else you'd like to add? Yes, that? since it's experiential and since they're facing real situations, <clears throat> they have to um, decide on the spot where they are as well as respond to the pressures uh, within the circumstances that they are into. Now, it also is a very safe environment because these are projects which are um, out in the uh, field where they can uh, afford to make mistakes, uh, unlike some of the labs or research groups that you may be in. But in the end, they begin to earn the capability or learn uh, the capability and have the confidence to be able to deliver because they would have gone the, through the process. And, and so this will be a, a great... Uh, uh, outcome for both the student as well as probably for their research labs where they would come back with this not only confidence but several transferable skills that they can use in your projects. So if you think you have someone's ready please do forward this on get them to get in touch with us and we look forward to working with you. Thanks for listening.